Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to consume our data service. So don't leave and learn Mendix with me. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this service provided by odata.org. You can find it in this URL, service.odata.org. And here you can access the first link, go browse the full access. And in this page, you can find all the structure of this service. So it has uh, an entity for the products, product details, categories, suppliers, persons, person details and advertisements. So to start using this service, we can go to the studio, right click on your module, go to add order and select consume all data service. Here you can write TOS, consume all data service, underscore products or the name that you want to give it. And here you have the option to select between URL or file. In this case, we are going to use a URL and as a metadata URL, you are going to use this link. So you can just copy and paste it on the studio. But because we want the metadata, we can add in the end of this URL, dollar sign metadata. Just click OK. Click OK again. And now, as you can see, you already have the configuration to consume this server. Now we need to give the service URL. So go to your module, right click, create new constant. And give the name constant service URL. Click OK. And here you can just copy and paste the link you just copied before and set as a default value. Click OK. And now go to service URL, select and select your constant. Now you can save, go to your domain model and here you can select your tab integrations. If you don't have it here, you can go to view and select integration and it will open on the right side. As you can see, you have one service here available to consume. You can click to expand this service and click to show more. Now you can see all the entities available on this service. You can also notice that you have the word crude here and the only highlighted letter is the R because you only have read only um, access. So to actually consume this service, you can just drag and drop one of the entities to your domain model and it will create automatically all the attributes and everything needed. You can also check this entity have associations. So as you can see, it have at least three associations. So one with the categories, product detail, and another with the supplier. So if you want to have this information also available on your domain model, you can just click to show more go to categories and just drag and drop to your domain model. As you can see, it creates automatically the association. You can also access all the data inside of it. Now, before we test if everything went well, you can just double click on your entity, go to access rules and give permissions to your user hole to access this entity. You can see that the only option we have available is reads because because we only have the read permission from the service. So click to read, click OK. You can also notice that the create and delete options are set as a no, but actually there is a way to create some new objects to this entity. And you just need to switch this option to true. So you will be able to create and update objects regardless of the capabilities. So for the changes that you will do, will not go to the service, they will just keep it locally. In this case, uh, I'm going to turn off this option and click OK. Go to the categories 
entity, access rules, new information to the user. Click OK, OK again. Now let's go to the products entity, right click, generate overview pages. We can just click OK. Close. Now you can go to your navigation, double click, add your page to the menu. So products. On click go page and select the products overview. Click OK. Now you can go to products overview, go to properties, visible for user, and also on the products new edit, visible for user, and click OK. Now let's run the server. Click to view app. Login as the MX admin. And now click on your page to see all the projects. As you can see, now we have all the data from the products entity. And if you click to view one of the entries, you can also notice that. We have some categories associated with this product. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.